Hold on. Hi, Vera. This meeting is being Hi. recorded. We've got Dan on the line. Hi, thank you. This is Vera. Thank you. Hey, Vera. Hi, Dan. This is Vera. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm fine. Can you hear me good enough? I can hear you. Can you? Uh, I, can't, I can't see you, though. No, no. Th that's so are we, strange. Are, are we, is that the point? Is it audio only? Yes, it is audio only. But now I can hear okay, you well, loud and clear. So, I'm um, off my video, so I don't have to look at myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm in this studio where I don't see anything except for, you know, a little bit of sound waves. So uh, thank you for your time, Dan. Thanks. So, thanks so much for having me. How yeah, are you? I, I'm fine, actually. The weather is nice in Holland right now. But uh, the most important thing of tonight is, of course, that it is suddenly a new Bastille song. Yeah, there is indeed, yeah. It feels a bit like uh, a surprise. Could you tell me, because you've mentioned like uh, something loud was coming this week, and I have to admit it did not disappoint. What happened? What is, uh, why is it now released? We've been making music and um, sort of entering a new phase of our band and wanting to just surprise people with everything we do. So um, we were really excited by this song. I wanted to make something loud and shocking and unexpected. Uh, and I wanted people to, you know, to, to maybe be a bit blindsided by us doing a heavier sound. Yeah. It's something we've done before, but we, you know, we just wanted to make something fun. You know, it's kind of like a, you know, it's, it's sort of tongue in cheek. Um, we wanted to make just like a rowdy two minute um, punk song basically and and uh that you know looks at looks at how things are and uh and a bit of a call to arms and yeah just have fun with it you know we're yeah. we're trying to just have a really good time making music um that we love and we love this song and we thought like let's just let's have it let's put it out and that's sort of how we want to be from now on just put things out as we go so people can see what we're thinking as we're thinking it and yeah i, I guess um this felt like a good place to start, a good place to sort of kick off the doors. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully, yeah. You've hopefully, a bit of a reset. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exciting. It almost sounds to me like a new era of Bastille, like releasing almost immediately instead of teasing and giving more information about a potential new album or something. Is that what you want to do from now on? Yeah, I think I think the days of sort of working on an album behind the scenes for years and then orchestrating a campaign and all that kind of stuff we just we're just excited we just want to release music you know the yeah. world is completely on its head at the moment um and different people are reacting to that in different ways but we're lucky enough to get to make music we think this stuff is awesome and we just want people to hear it and if it's if it's a distraction to anyone if it means somebody can close their eyes, pretend they're at a gig and jump around their room or their house or whatever, then that's fucking perfect, you know? And yeah. we, want, we, we, we want the music to be, you know, we, we, we're so lucky to have the fans that we do, but we, you know, we want to take them with us on, 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 this, on this sort of next step. And, and you know, this, this song is not necessarily like the sound of, of what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. we, want every, we want every single song to be a real surprise for people. So this song is, you know, in attitude and in sound, it's just a kind of like meant to be a short, sharp shock to kind of uh, like a poke almost. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> it. Love it. Thank I, you. Sorry, Thank what you. did you say before that? I, I was just waffling. So <laughs> yeah, I love this, <laughs> this zoom, this little bit of lag that's in it. So I'm sorry if I'm not laughing. Um, it's because of, you know, a little bit of time in between. I am laughing. It's, so it's because, um, I, it's because I'm painfully unfunny. Yeah. Is why. <laughs> um, so w what I really loved is that you are working on this track with no one else than Graham Coxon. So how did you get in touch with him? Well, we've been like massive Blur fans since I was a kid, um, and I think he's you know I think he's he's obviously an amazing musician, but he's such a visionary. And with this song, you know. We, we'd finished it um, and we wanted, when it kicked in, we wanted it to sort of like smack you around the head. Um, and we were thinking of him when we made it and then we sent it to him, you know, and asked him if he'd be up for adding some guitars and, and kind of expecting him to say no, but you know, it was during lockdown mm -hmm. and he, he was like, yeah, I'm really into this. He was up for it. He jumped on 
sent us loads of guitars. And then we asked again, I was like, oh, dude, would you, you know, would you be up for singing on it too? And he was like, yeah, sure. Um, so I don't know, it was, it was one of those things we sort of took a punt and just reached out to one of our like idols um, and he was up for it. And, and I thought, you know, to really, as a statement of intent as well, like for the song to sound how it does and to have the kind of like extra squelching, grinding, distorted, like signature sound that he, that he has, I thought, hopefully it will elevate the track a little bit and, and kind of show people what we're trying to do yeah. with this song. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, fuck, it's a, it's a dream come true to have him on a song with us. Yeah. Um, and, and just really fun. You know, I think this year, everything being so weird, a lot of people are like, fuck it, just ask for stuff. If you don't, you know, if you don't ask, it won't happen. And, um, yeah, it, it, hopefully people who haven't heard of him, haven't heard of Blur, you know, it, hopefully it will make them go back through and listen to all those amazing albums. Um, and, uh, you know, and for everybody else, like, you know, it's, it's just, it's an honor for us to be on a track with him. Yeah, yeah. And as you mentioned, you wanted to have this effect with all the guitars suddenly like in your face in two minutes. Uh, everyone's waking up, I, I think, when I'm going to play it on the radio. What will be like um, some kind of the message of the song? Like if I'm looking, listening more into the lyrics, what we're going to do on the radio now for the very first time. What is the thing that was in your mind when you were writing this song? I was thinking about particularly Particularly, you know, during lockdown, I guess in in life at the moment, like it feels like everybody is fighting for our attention so much from all sides, you know, online, anywhere you go online, out in the world in real life, you know, our our attention is the most valuable thing that we have, you know, and 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 um, our attention and our time. And I was just thinking, it's kind of like a tongue in cheek, bring it on to all these people, all the sort of all the voices that are screaming at us and the, and, the, and the images that are being flashed in front of us, like everyone's vying for our attention. Mm. And I guess it's then like, cool, I'm listening now. What the fuck are you going to do with, with my valuable time? Like, what are you going to do with it? Give me something good. Give me something funny. Give me something worthwhile. Um, Cause I think, yeah, I don't know that it just, it just sometimes feels like that's what life is like these days. So it's, it's, we wanted it to be, you know, these are frustrating times. We wanted it to be a kind of angsty tongue in cheek, like fuck you <laughs> to to everybody that's constantly trying to trying to get us like you know get our attention and have our time and our money and, and not in some sort of like totally mad way it's just you know it's it's, it's the, the lyrics are like there are a couple of little stories about people and their relationship with the internet and and uh yeah I, I guess we wanted to make like a sort of um yeah like a, a almost like a like a it's like a semi jokey protest song against uh how it feels to have you know a million different people trying to get trying to get your attention all at once and just to sort of like sure you've got it <laughs> now give give us your best yeah you know? I, if that makes sense i should probably i should probably find a way to articulate that a bit better <laughs> no but but all the songs that i'm hearing and i'm looking into the lyrics right now like some of these are extremely relatable now in these crazy pandemic times. And that was one of the first things that I was thinking about when I was looking into the lyrics, into the vibe of this song. It was like, as you mentioned, like people all around the world are just doing our thing, trying to get attention online. How do we reach each other in these crazy lockdown situations? That was something that was uh, going on in my mind when I was listening to it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that's, 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 yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry, is this a uh, final question? Two. Sorry. Yeah, like two minutes left. Yes. So sorry. Thank you very much. That's um, the thing. I mean, I think we're also we kind of want people to interpret it, you know, in their own way. But that's definitely what I was thinking. Yeah. Cool. And um, also this extraordinary video. Um, I love to <laughs> describe videos on the radio. So I want to ask you <laughs> <laughs> if we are going to look up the video, what can we expect from the new Bastille video? So we worked with this amazing Iranian animator called Reza um, and we wanted to make something visually that was as shocking and engaging and surprising as the music was. So um, it's a kind of totally crazy intergalactic, um, trippy, dreamscape, spaceship, satellite, 
internet at its best and worst. Um, you know, we wanted it to feel like a, a like a, a psychedelic trip through our minds and through the internet and into space and out the other side. And I think, you know, I can say this because somebody else made it, but I think it's <laughs> fucking amazing. Yeah. And and I, I and I and it, it feels like the perfect companion to the song. It's kind of, it's short. It's constantly changing. It's uh it's exciting and i know that a lot of people have been making animated videos in lockdown but this was something we'd planned to do you know at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. before before everything has happened that, that's happened so uh yeah i think i like regardless of whether or not you like the song i think the video is definitely worth two minutes of your time because it's it's fucking bonkers <laughs> amen brilliant thank you so much and i'm so glad that we can say fucking and fuck how many times we love to on the Dutch radio. So that's excellent. Thank you very much, Dan. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even know that. Thank you. Thank you for letting me swear. So that, that's <laughs> easy for me. I'm just going to put it on the radio. So thank you very much. Um, thanks so much for your time, guys. I thank you for playing this song. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Good evening. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.